Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. My name is Brenda. And in this video, I just want to show you really quickly the two journals that I just finished and also talk about the some D stashes that I still have available if you're interested. And this is um my children's journal. The first one I've done uh from the golden book with a golden uh, book cover. And I kind of, I'm kind of liking how it turned out, and I'm kind of not. And first, and okay, you know, I see a lot of women who are doing, uh, putting buttons on the side, and I kind of like it. Uh, it's really cute on some journals that I've seen, but I wanted to try some different, and I, I'm kind of, I kind of don't like the buttons, and, um, I really wanted like beads on here, which I I have it on, I have it on here. But um, I wanted to attach it to the thread of the bind of how of where I binded the book, but I I didn't want them to be moving around, so I wanted them to be more stable, and so I just put a whole bunch of glue on this, and I don't know. I'm thinking of maybe even putting resin on there, so that for sure. I mean, I don't think they'll go anywhere with the the amount of glue that I put on here. But I think I, I would like to see how the resin, if, um, you know, if if this doesn't sell, which I'm going to put it out there if somebody's interested um, in purchasing it the way it is right now, that's fine. But if, if you know, I end up keeping it, I think I'm going to go ahead and put some resin on here. And this is um, my first time working with ruffles. So what I did is I put um, I put it on some fabric. And then I just attached the fabric onto the, to the ends there. And, I, and then I put a fabric flower on top. And I kind of like how that came out. I wanted it to be a little, come out a little bit more. You know, and I wanted the layers, but... Um, it wasn't turning out that way. This one, I wish this little part here would have gone a little bit further down. And just a little puff, more puffiness. But, um, yeah, so that's how it's, it's looking. And I like how this came out. I, um, I got this from this blouse that it doesn't fit me anymore. The... It's like a little belt on the waist and so I I just cut up the blouse and I used the I used it for this and I put some lace and some thread and uh, this uh, bead I put some vinyl on the bead different color vinyl little strips and so This is how it looks from the inside. I used a lot of the papers that I had dyed recently uh, with that red cabbage. I have a video on that. of um, I dyed with the red cabbage with... Um, Food, red food coloring and a tan dye. It's a little envelope in here. You could put something in there. Put something in this little pocket here. Dreams come true. A pocket in here. Some vinyl. Some beads on here. Little puzzle pieces that I just bought recently. And you could put another something else. This little envelope here. Another pocket. Some more of my papers. 
this one here. I should have left it blue and gold. I'm kind of liking that. This I just put a whole bunch of leftover uh, pieces of different color vinyl. Put some lace on the edges. Just put a lot of illustrations of some of my favorite, um, like Cinderella and Mother Goose and another envelope. Put something in there. Just put it here. Put a little note, secret note in there. Another envelope. That's what I made. It's gonna make it into an earring. I figure I'll include this in this, and then just some more different papers. This one's upside down, but you could always you you could always. I made a mistake of putting it upside down. But you could always put something on top of it, like a picture or something else. Okay, so that is my kid's journal. If you are interested, let me know. Um, yeah, let me know if uh, you would like to purchase it. If, if not, that's fine too. I'm going to see, um, like I said, I'm going to... I, I just, this to me, I mean, well, like all of the journals, you know, it's, I, it's, I start up, I, I start doing it, but there's a lot of more that you could continue to do on each page, and, and this one here, I did more on the side, putting the, a whole bunch of different beads, and charms, and I really like how that looks. And like I said, I um, if somebody's interested in this, this is the way it is now. Or if you want me, I'm gonna try the resin. Whatever happens, I mean, um, if, well, if you want it, whoever is, if somebody is interested in this, um, you know, I'll put the resin or I'll just leave it like this. But I did put a whole bunch of glue, you know, because they're not, they're just, I just glued it on here. They're not attached to the thread. And, you know, if you're moving around a lot, it, eventually one is going to pop off. But, uh, like I said, I think I put enough. I, I put enough glue. I might do the resin. So, here I put a whole bunch of, um, you know, flowers. And I continue it on inside. And this is my... Art Nouveau, it's really um, a lot of images of uh, Gustav Klimt and much, uh, much, um, both of those artists. And I'm just going to leave it like this. I, I don't have a, you know, it's just going to, I don't have a handle that I'm going to put on this one. And um, this one you could... I could see it going, like, even getting thicker. I mean, especially because I didn't put much fabric or lace or, um, there's still a lot of room for a lot of other things in here. And I just liked it the way it is, just like that. 
So, put some roses in the back. And like I said, there's a lot of different images and papers that I dyed and much uh, that's his um, work there I think this is his his work there too his clamp really like this tan dye With some vellum I always got to include vellum because I just love vellum. <laughs> Another image. Okay. So I just want to show you put a little bit of um, some type with some vinyl. And some more images. I, I love how this feels, the texture of all of the, the images. Yeah, I really, I really, really like this. The size of it, it's 12 and a half by 4. And I just think it goes well. Even this, this is like... I don't know which side I like more because they're just both just as cute I think so yeah whole bunch of writing you could do on here drawing another one of its images I think I'm going to put a fabric flower on top here And, yeah, it just goes on and on. I used all kind of different papers as much as, as, as I could or as I could find. Yeah. So, okay, I hope you enjoyed my journals and I will be back with um, to discuss some of these stashes I still have available and thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed um, my journals and I hope if you are interested let me know I will leave my email like always down below in the description and I'll see you in my next video thank you for watching bye